Listeners, today's video is brought to you by my friends over at Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club that sends you a box of awesome. We're talking top shelf goods from under the radar brands. It's free to join and you can skip a month or cancel at any time. And my favorite part about it is about 90% of their products come from small brands. You know, I love supporting the mom and pop shops with many of these brands being based here in the US. For example, the knife in the tarot box is made by Bare Bones, a company based out of Salt Lake City. Every month, Bespoke introduces their members to brand new products. Everything from outdoor gear, barware, home and kitchen goods, clothing, even live oysters. All based on a preference quiz you take on their website. Every box of awesome you get each month has around a $70 value, and you're only paying a fraction of that price. And no need to be surprised when receiving your boxes, because you can preview your box before receiving it every month. You can keep it, swap it, or just skip the month entirely. So now it's time to show you the boxes Bespoke Post sent me. Now three months ago I received the Weekender box which had the line of trade bag in it. And when I tell you that baby comes in clutch on my random trips to Vegas, it packs everything I need. So you know I was excited to see what Bespoke sent me this month. The Explore box. With everything I need for an outdoorsy trip, this box has got me covered. We're talking an M8 water bottle by Mizu. The Nomad Backpack by Cola Tree. A survival LED headlamp by Off Grid Tools. And a toasted coconut vanilla bean bar. Just when I'm feeling hungry. So to get 20% off your first box of awesome, all you have to do is enter my code, the ASMR Ryan 20 at checkout. Or go to bespokepost.com slash the ASMR Ryan 20. So thank you so much again to Bespoke Post for sponsoring this video. I hope you all enjoy. Have a great day. And don't forget to smile. I just, I get so nervous that I'm going to waste some prime during this video. And I, when I get nervous, I shake a lot. So I just really hope I don't spill anything. Oh. That's at least $50. No, mom, it doesn't matter, okay? Because, Mom, I can spend my life savings on Prime if I want to. Mom, it's for content, okay? What am I gonna have to do to justify this purchase? Oh, really? So what you're saying is if this video gets five million likes? What do you... No, all the cool YouTubers do it. Okay, fine, I'll stop begging for likes, Jesus. Maybe I'll beg for a subscriber. Okay, mom, I gotta go. I gotta film this video. Okay, bye. Hello, everybody. It is I, the ASMR Ryan, and today, as you can see, we are gonna be ranking every single Prime flavor I can buy. Now, I know it's all of them. Okay, I know there's special editions. I know there's that, and there's probably gonna be more in the future. These are the only ones I can get quickly. Okay, so I have Prime Energy and Prime Hydration. Let's go ahead and put it on a tier list, one that looks like this. We're gonna rank all these bad boys and we're gonna see which Prime comes out on top and which Prime does not. <laughs> all right, let's do this thing. Now, as you can see, I am just moist with excitement right now. But before we get started, I need to explain to you how a tier list works. There are several tiers on the list. That's why it's called tier list. The top tier is S tier, which means spicy meatball that is delicious. I'll drink it every day of my life. Then there's the A tier, which is like pretty dang good. Then you got B tier, which is okay. It's it's nice, so I'll drink it. C tier, which is I don't care for it. I don't. I can drink it. I cannot drink it, and my life would stay the same. Then there's D tier, which is uh, no, thank you. I'm I'm all set. You can keep it. Take it home. Then there's F. Is there an E in? Uh, gotta check. Gotta look up what a tier list looks like. Okay, I wasn't prepared for this. I don't know what you kids do nowadays and how you rate this stuff. How does a tier list look? Okay, for 
what I'm seeing, I can I can put the E in there or that. We're just gonna go straight to F, which is failure. Sorry about that. Hearing the word failure reminded me of Father's Day. Anyways, let's get started with the flavor numero uno. We're starting with the big dog, ice pop hydration. Now I'm gonna level with you guys. I've already reviewed the majority of these flavors over on my TikTok. <laughs> Link in description. So I know kind of a rough idea of how these taste, but I haven't had them in a while. So let's pop this bad boy open. I remember liking this one a lot. Oh, slap my saddle and call me Sally. That is good. I like this one a lot. This is definitely up there is one of my favorites. Let's go back for seconds. Okay, you know what? Summertime is coming. It's starting to get really hot. This is a perfect thirst quencher. This bad boy, Ice Pop, is going in S tier. That's right. S for size Pop. Very nice. Now, I didn't know exactly how I was going to do this, but I think maybe we should jump from hydration to energy and go back and forth to see how each flavor tastes. Now, we just did Ice Pop Hydration, so we go to Ice Pop Energy. Now, I'll be honest, I don't really like carbonated drinks. I'm not a big fan of soda or anything with bubbles because I get the hiccups very easily. sound oh so good. So, cheers. Let's see how it goes. Oh my god. Ah, I get a little bit of the slurp action in there for you. Now, I'll be honest, this is actually better than the hydration, hydration one. And I don't really like the energy ones as much. It just seems to have a little bit more flavor in there. Oh yeah, yeah, that's nice, that's very nice. You know what, I'm not even gonna try and play with you guys. This is going straight to S tier. Okay, looking good so far for Prime. Meta Moon Hydration. Now, they don't have an energy version of this, so this one's kind of solo. I know when it first came out, this one was like super rare and it was hard to find them. Now you can find them almost anywhere. Which, by the way, comment down below what the rarest flavor is. I don't know. I think it's the KSI one that I mentioned earlier, but I'm not completely sure. Because uh, I remember I drank this on a TikTok and a bunch of people were commenting, where'd you get that one? Oh my god. So, I know this bad boy is going to pack a punch. Okay. I am just sweating with excitement. Mud moon down the hatch. Que cosa? like ice pop and like grape if you mix them together it's good I mean I just I thought I remembered it tasting a lot more like different you know I don't know I'm an ASMR artist not a food critic I whisper you know what it's good but I can't see myself pounding back at least 40 of these bad boys on the beach like I would Ice Pop. So it's going to go in B tier. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. All my little Meta Moon crypto kids out there. B tier. Okay, still good. Still good. Just not Ice Pop good. So since there wasn't a Meta Moon energy drink to go along with it, we're just going to jump straight to... Strawberry watermelon. Strawberry watermelon, I remember being really good on the hydration side of things. I don't think I've tried the energy version of this. I remember 
remember Raven seeing the can and she was like, it's pink. <laughs> I like it. So, uh, yeah, get the fizzles. But this one's not nearly as fizzly. Taste as done.
this one is S tier all the way. Gotta put it up there in S tier. It is very good. Big fan. Big fan. I love you, okay? S tier. Easy rating. Okay, looks like we have four hydration and four energy. We're gonna finish this pretty fast. I forgot there's grape. I didn't like grape when I tried it on TikTok. I remember this tasting like medicine. Now, there's a lot of people out there that love grape and don't think it tastes like medicine. I only think that because the majority of the medication I was on as a kid was grape flavored. I like grapes. I think they're good. But grape flavored things make me think of medicine. So, uh, let's see how this tastes. Oh, all these are dripping. Oh, that is, that is a Flintstone gummy, if I've ever had one. Yikes. Now, I always try to go for the second sip, but when I tell you I'm not looking forward to this second sip, I, uh, I'm not. But, I mean, it's grape. It's there. It, it's purely just because I don't, I think of grape-flavored things as medication, so bottoms up, Ryan, time to take your vitamins. Okay, that's the only one. Um, I truly believe this is going to be the only one in F tier. Yeah. Fight me, fight me, all of you fight me right now. I'm sorry, I don't like it. Okay, I love Prime, think they're awesome. I do not like the grape flavor. Sue me, okay? But don't. All right, here we go. We're in the OG town, if I remember correctly. These were the flavors that first launched with Prime. I, I don't know that for a fact. I'm not a Fortnite to level 500. 250,000 crown sweat, so I don't know if these are the OG flavors. Uh, so we're just going to one of my favorites. Not only is it my favorite color, but it's my favorite flavored thing. Blue raspberry. Okay. That's nice. That's real nice. It's getting hot in here, okay, because I just popped this bad boy open. So, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, bottoms up, okay? Cheers. Oh. Father. Yeah, yeah, this, this is, this is amazing. This is good. Oh my god. Okay. That is just as good as I remember it. However, however, it's not S tier good, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I gotta show A tier some love. That's where this bad boy is going, in the A tier. It's good, it's great, it's delicious, but it's not S tier delicious. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, little Timmy? You know what I'm saying? You can't have prime hydration without prime energy. Blue raspberry energy. Let's see if this one has the fizzles. I gotta shake it a little bit to get the fizzles out. I don't know why Ice Pop was so fizzy and these aren't. Bottoms up. Oh, wow. Oh. I just got flashbacks. To when, to when, like, I just, bad things, you know? Why is this, did I get like a bad can? It doesn't have flavor, it's just carbonated water. Let me go for the second sip. Dude, what? I genuinely think I got a bad can or something. This does not taste like blue raspberry at all. What is wrong with me? I, I don't know. I don't know. That That is, that's F tier. I'm sorry. I like blue raspberry. Maybe it's just a bad can. It's the only one I have right now, so I can't go crack another one open, but that tastes terrible. It's, it's just carbonated water. There's no syrup in it. 
Okay, from memory, I remember liking this. So, from memory, I would say like B tier because it was good. But this specific can is F tier. I gotta go with what I'm given. Okay, I ordered these bad boys. All right, straight from the dealer. All right, so I hate to say it, but Blue Raspberry Energy is F tier. I honestly feel like I'm slowly turning into a prime bottle. My veins have prime in them, okay? This is a lot. Tropical punch. Delicious. Okay. Now, I remember liking this bad boy when I first tried it, okay? Big fan of tropical punch all day, every day. Alright. Bottoms up. was. I apologize for the nightmares if you're still awake, but that is, that is some spicy meatball. I said spicy meatball, but I don't think this is going to be S tier. I know. I'm sorry I'm inconsistent, but I'm hopped up on three cans of prime energy right now. That's good. It's going to go A tier. That's got to be A tier. It's good, but it's not wowzers good, you know what I mean? Of course, you don't know what I mean. I'm like 45 compared to you. You can't hydrate without the energy. I don't even know what that means. Don't ask me what that means. I don't know. You can't hydrate without the energy. Like, yes, you can. Stay away from me, Satan. 
but it's like, stay away from me, you know? It's not, oh, it's more of like, oh, you know? Lemon lime energy. All right, kids, let's go ahead and uh, try, try this prime energy. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. Just uh...